This is the Bush Whisperer coming at you from the beautiful Penguin Sanctuary. I've just started walking from the parking lot of the Penguin Sanctuary into the other part of the mating sanctuary, which leads to what I tell my son we can call the Joshua tree, which is a beautiful, I believe it's kind of an ash tree. Very hard to find. Did I say ash? Sorry. Um, I forget the name of the tree, but it's not an ash tree. A kind of a willow, I believe. So, I've come to talk to you today about grounding. With a little bit of an insight into an exercise that one can do for grounding one's energy, which is quite useful. Grounding is something that we don't do enough of. We ought to walk barefoot on the earth in order to activate this principle. In order to become attuned to the grounding principle, you want to get your feet on the ground. Also, it would be a good idea to sit on the ground. Get cushions and sit on the ground. Teach yourself. It's also a very humbling thing to do. Because when we become more grounded, we become more humble. And when we become more humble, we become more attuned to the earth beneath our feet. And to the basis of the construct that we're living in. We become more real. An expression of the natural earth is what we're talking about when we're talking about being grounded, truly. So consider this for a moment. When you're breathing, I want you to consider the, the moment where your lungs are empty. And stretch that out a little bit. Become slightly more aware of the stretched out space of emptiness of breath. I've done a video about this, about the elemental breathing. And so this grounding, you can see, is something that works with us. But for now, this is a simple exercise. I don't want you to think about it too much. Follow these exercises from beginning to end consequ consequentially, so that you can gain the lessons as they were meant to be gained, step by step. That way you'll make the most of it. So, considering the emptiness of one's breath, is quite an important way in order to attune to the earth element. And with it comes a sensation of emptiness. Smash a like button and share this video so others can get, get it too if you're enjoying this. And while you're focusing on this, it's very important to be aware of the sensations in your body. The sensations in your thoughts. The sensations in your emotional system. And the sensations that are moving through you. The sensations in the earth beneath your feet or beneath your bound bottom if you're sitting on the ground. And you can do this standing up or sitting. I want you to contemplate for a moment that the world beneath your feet or beneath your bottom is a sphere. And become aware of the spherical nature of the world. Whether the world is a sphere or not, is not the question. I want you to consider that you're sitting upon a sphere or standing upon a sphere because we are working here through the imagination. And I want you to imagine how the sphere under your feet is contracting and become aware of the contraction in your lungs when your lungs are empty. And become aware of the sense of contraction, the magnetic field beneath you. And if you're lying down on your back, become aware that you're lying upon a sphere and that the sphere is contracting. And that there's a contract between yourself and the sphere. And the contract is gravity. That that gravity has got to do with the different forces of contraction. And the forces of contraction has got to do with the resonant frequencies of vibration. Some frequencies are more contracting than others. We call this density. So, become aware of the density in the earth. And when you're sitting or lying down or standing with us, I want you to feel your spine being straight, totally straight. If you're standing, I want you to be aware of your feet as being the receptacle of the pressure of your entire body. That there's a contraction in your feet, towards the bottom of your feet, upon the ground. If you're sitting, the contraction will be 
the base of the spine as the world is pushing down from your shoulders and your head down, down, down through your spine. If you're lying down, it would be the entirety of your spine making contact. Your hips and your shoulders being the four elements pushing down towards a state of continuity, which is the spine reflecting the central pillar of contraction. I want you to, and it might be easier to do this sitting or standing initially, to get the feel for it. I want you to imagine that as you breathe out, you feel the rush of water moving through your body. Moving down, 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 down. And the emptiness is in your feet. And when you breathe in, you feel the rush of fire moving through your body. And the fullness in your head is the air and the sky. And as you breathe out, you feel the rushing of the water down towards your feet. And allow this breath cycle to move through you a little bit. Do it for a few minutes. Five minutes or so should do it. And when there is a rhythm in your breathing that is pleasant, or pleasantness is always welcome. Allow your consciousness to settle on the earth and to feel as if you're breathing in from the earth and breathing out into the earth. I want you to consider this for a moment. For the grounding principle, we are using a particular set of polarities. For the other principle, we would invert these polarities. But we'll speak about that in another time. So for now, you're breathing in from the earth, and you're breathing out into the earth. And as you breathe in from the earth, and out through the earth, I want you to imagine that your consciousness is sinking deeper into the earth with every breath. And that your consciousness is like a root, and that you are like a tree. And you notice how your tree's root is getting deeper with every breath. And imagine this root growing deeper and deeper into the earth. Deeper, 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 deeper into the earth. The root can be of a dark colour, if you want to imagine it as an image in your mind. Or it can be a green colour. And you imagine this root taking root with every breath, rhythmically. Allow the root to get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into the earth. And I want you to become aware as you get deeper into the earth that there's another center sphere within the sphere. And it's as if your root is moving towards that central sphere, right in the center of the earth. And as you allow this process to carry you rhythmically, and don't rush it, take your time. You will start to become aware of sensations more and more. And don't forget that the emptiness of the breath is when your consciousness is fully in the earth. So that would be when the root is really solidifying. And as you go deeper in, you will notice that the root gets thicker, bigger, stronger, deeper. And there'll be tingling sensations in the bottom of your feet. And this is supposed to happen, it's fine. It could be a resonant vibrational feeling. It could be a sensation of warmth. It could feel electrical impulses, however you feel it. The soles, the palms of your feet, shall we say, will become resonant. And just allow this to go deeper and deeper and deeper into the earth. And then spend some time contemplating this root. I want you to imagine that this root is touching the center of the earth, the sphere in the center, which is the center of the earth, which is a small sphere within the earth, is where this root touches. And I want you to imagine this root entering into that sphere, going deeper and deeper and deeper still. And within that sphere, there's a central sphere. And without going too far into these expansive spheres, just imagine that the root is finding its root within, within the center of that sphere. And then I want you to slowly 
just contemplate the entirety of your body. Become aware of your skin. Become aware of the blood flowing through your body. Become aware of your bones, keeping the structure in your body. Become aware of the air moving through your body. Feel the heat pulsating through your body. And while you're sensing all of these experiences and considering them, don't think about them. Just become aware of them. Keep the focus on the feet, the soles of the feet the palms of the soles of the feet where that lovely tingling or warm or wonderful sensations are happening at this stage. And slowly allow yourself to enter back into a state of your body consciousness. And start to breathe more actively for you'll notice that your breath will have slowed. You will be wonderfully grounded. This will be a wonderful grounding exercise to do. You should do it often. And it will also produce a state of harmony in your consciousness field. And it will stabilize your sensations, your heartbeat, your breathing, will all become a rhythmical expression of nature. And you will be grounded in nature, of nature, through nature, expressing the earth. And by and by, this will develop your ability of your sensations to become more attuned as well. The animal senses, shall we call it that. So do subscribe to this channel. Have an absolutely awesome day. And by the way, I didn't mention this. It's a given. You should be using incense. Preferably frankincense and myrrh that you're burning yourself from real crystals of frankincense and myrrh. The saltpeter and some of the ingredients that they use in incense can cause people to get asthma or allergy reactions because they, they want to make money out of incense. So you've got to really make your own. You just buy charcoal, which they use for hookah pipes, and order yourself some pure natural frankincense, frankincense and myrrh crystals, if you want. Myrrh is very good for this particular exercise. And you just put it on top of these burning charcoals, and it will make a smoke in your room, and you allow that to breathe in. It's natural. It won't have any toxic, toxic effects. In fact, it's medicinal for people's lungs. So it won't harm your asthma. My son has asthma and the frankincense and myrrh actually helps him. So there you go. It's a very simple exercise. Subscribe to this channel, smash a like, share this video and good luck with the exercise. It'll work for you. This is the Bush Whisperer coming at you from the beautiful Cape of Gala, southern tip of Africa. Boulders. Aum Shanti Shanti Shanti.